Brianna with Muse TV and my lovely friend Jennifer Ortega. We're here at the best place on earth, Egyptian Cedar, and we're here for the premiere of Satanic Panic. So watch it. We have some great interviews. Apparently, kids can't watch this movie, so. I told her you could, but she's not listening to me. I don't know why. PG 13 and up. No, it's R, I think. Oh, R. She pulls an organ out of the body. Oh, okay, yeah. There's organs. Oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't say anything. No, it's okay. I mean, it's a horror movie. You expect that. Maybe blood? I don't know. Lots of blood. <laughs> like that you said it's batshit crazy, and then, okay. sorry, I touched on you. Bats. That's so <laughs> on target. So how did this movie come about? Like, did the script, who brought the script to you? And uh, Yeah, so Fangoria reached out to my reps, and, you know, they had asked a couple people who should direct this. They wanted a female director specifically, and they had a list of people, yeah. And uh, they, you know, asked a couple people about me, did some research, and then reached out to my agent to see if I would read it for consideration to direct and I'm a huge fan of Grady Hendrix a huge fan of Fangoria and of course I said yes <laughs> and I was like I want to do this what do I have to do because I want to you know a lot of other people were trying to get the movie as well so I just pitched the shit out of it and was very clear with my vision and they said yes it's yours so that was pretty awesome <laughs> what are some I'm just curious too what are some of your favorite horror movies I always like I know so many, many but I just thought you like yeah, well, I'll talk about the ones that, like, my personal favorites are Night of the Living Dead, the original, and the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but movies that specifically influenced Satanic Panic uh, were Jennifer's Body, and Drag Me to Hell, and Evil Dead and the Evil Dead remake, um, uh, Race with the Devil, and Deathgasm, and Society, so those are some of them that directly influence Satanic Panic. I'm so excited. The cast is phenomenal, by the way. Like. I love Ruby. I mean, she's I, I she, but all of them, like Rebecca, Jerry O'Connor. Like, yeah, right, it looks like a dream cast. I can't wait to see it. It looks so, so much fun. Can you tell us a little bit about us, with, about it, without giving too much away? Um, yeah. I mean, it's basically the story of a pizza delivery girl who uh, delivers to a upper class neighborhood, and they decide not to tip her. So she decides to take it upon herself to get that tip, and then finds out that uh, they're a satanic cult, looking for a virgin, and she happens to be one. So so chaos ensues from there, an adventure, and it's pretty wild. Moral of the story is don't be a pizza delivery person. Well, moral of the story is don't be a dick and tip that's, your pizza delivery that's person. That's true. Don't be a dick. Yes. Don't be a dick. Yeah. Don't be a dick. Yeah. Don't be a dick. I like that. It's a good one. Yeah. I'm just obsessed with this. This whole everything. Unique vintage in Burbank, California. You too can have one. day I'm going to go there. Yep. They have all their Halloween stuff out now. It can be yours. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, totally off topic. What's yes. That's mean? my favorite movie of all time. So. Never seen it. Oh, man. Yeah. Back to the Future. Yeah. Oh my God, Back to the Yeah, yeah. Of course you have. Yeah. <laughs> um, so lovely to meet you. I'm so excited to see you there. Thank you. Yeah. That was amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So right. nice to meet you. You too. So lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. I think you guys look like a girl group, so you should do it together. This is Brianna. I'm Jennifer. Hi. Hi. Last time I interviewed you, you're with Cody yes. Kennedy. I remember the yes. Oh. It was, that's a really good. Having a really shiny. Oh beard. yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Tease it. We decide you're in a band. Yes. Oh, oh love this that. looks great. Yeah. Like Yin and Yang. Can we? Can, can we do that? that? That's like a really Thank nice, you. like R&B group. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, I like it. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about the movie and your characters and as much as you can. I don't know. I still need them. Film is incredible. <laughs> I love your director. She's the best. Oh, me no, yeah. Too. She's incredible. She, there, that was a really fun experience. And I got to meet this lovely lady who's fucking incredible. Ow. <laughs> You guys completely hate each other. Oh yeah, yeah I can't stand her. It's all well, we, we our characters work the majority of the time together. Obviously, yeah. we spent the night in a living hell <sighs> that was filled with blood gore yeah. and so much more. And virgins. Okay. Copyrighted. Uh, uh, <laughs> that sounds like a virgin. I think it's oh, yeah. one virgin, but are you gonna out me like that? <laughs> it's okay. You're Come safe. on. Right, right, right. Okay, thank God. <laughs> can Can you gals? Can you guys tell me anything? Um, do you guys have anything you guys could relate to your guys' characters for you know yourself to the character? Oh. Is there anything you could put out there? Oh yes. Get Sam, to know the character a bit. She is so. Oh god, she just tries really hard, but she's so uh, she's awkward and like she just like really gives it her all, but like people don't really get her. And I'm like, you did just perfect. I'm like, did you see that? Did you see those pictures on the red carpet? I hi, I'm I'm awkward as hell. So it's so that, and then also that she's 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 a good person, and I and I. I that's what I love about her, and that she's very kind-hearted. But also, we'll kick some ass if she needs to, which oh, yeah. we all need. That's right. Hi. 
I can't follow that up. I relate. Oh, yeah. I relate to Julie because she is always, well, no, she's just recently found something very dark out about herself and where she comes from, and she's going to do her darndest to get out of that and do what's best for the world. She's going from negative and going to positive. Self growth. That's Women message. power. <laughs> you got a little terrified in that. The yeah. I, li I, I, I love that shot. Oh, that's what you meant right now. I was like, yeah. I am. <laughs> No, no. Um, because it's taking stands. I'm like, so hot. I'm, I'm like really nervous. Oh. Anyway, yes. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. So lovely to meet both of you. So nice to meet you. Oh, no, nice to see you again. Nice you look beautiful. You look beautiful. You look beautiful, as always. You let my boyfriend pick you. You look amazing. Yes. Thank you. I'm just a black for a horror movie. A Love it. Thank you so much. I'm Jennifer. This is Brianna. I am Arden. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Hi, ladies. Pleasure. Hello. I'm very excited about the film. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about the character? Or the um, sure. I play Gypsy Newmeyer. She is, um, she reminds me of, you know, in the cartoon with the little dog and the big dog? She's the little dog, desperately trying to, like, get the attention or win. And Rebecca remains the big dog. And um, we're, we're suburban Satanists, and we need a virgin. And I want to, I want to take the power from Rebecca Romain. I, I like how you said that. It was so sweet. Yeah, Thank you. She did it with that beautiful yeah. smile. <laughs> Such yeah. great. Suburban Satanists. We're suburban. Yeah. We just need one virgin. We're suburban, yeah. virgin. We're suburban I mean, yeah. Satanists. It's not us. greedy. Just one. No, we just need one virgin. Just one. Just one. Just one. one. Yeah. Simple. Simple. Yeah. Yes. There we go. What are some of your favorite horror movies? Oh my god, I got my first kiss after on TV watching The Shining. Oh my god, I love that. So I will forever have a soft spot. We watched it on TV. And I like, so I like with like cling to like, oh I'm so scared. And like then I got my very first, so for me that's always going to be one of the most romantic movies in the world. It's like a love story. I love yeah, that. Yeah, it was a love story. And then, you know what, there was back in the day, there was one I saw that I don't know if anyone else saw. It made me scream in the theater. Did you guys watch The Stepfather? Oh, I know exactly The Stepfather. That was I know so it's, it is. Scary. I know exa What's the guy's name, too? I'm trying to think of the actor. The Stepfather? Yes, the actor. Freaked me out. It's a scary movie. I know exactly the movie. movie. I don't mean to grab No, I don't care. It is a scary movie. It's really scary. Yeah. It's really scary. I remember scary. screeching in the theater. I haven't seen it. We'll watch it, it later. It was good. It's really good. It was good. I was traumatized by Poltergeist as a child. Yeah. That was, that was traumatizing. My, my room was my bed, like the I couldn't have finished. That one was scary. I remember The Exorcist was scary. Um, I can't do like the saw. I can't do like gore. No, no. See, I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's different. That's different. That's different. I mean, Evil Dead's fun, obviously. That's fun, obvious. Yeah, 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 girl. Oh, you have an Evil Dead tattoo. I mean, Evil Dead's fun, obviously. Oh, it's just a dead woman. It's not That's Evil Dead. That's how you do it. Get it. You got the gun. You're fitting in here tonight. Yeah. Great. But, but for me, it was Freddy Krueger. I was like oh, four yeah, yeah, or five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like going to Halloween, yeah, you know, sure. my, and my, my cousin's like, that's Freddy Krueger. Yeah. And I turn around, I'm like, ah, like yeah. eternally die. He's so ugly. What is yeah. it? I was, yeah. I was just so scared. Four -year -old. No. I want to protect him for a minute. I'm going to protect him for a minute. I'm going to protect him for a minute. I'm going to give him some time. Oh Thank you God, so you're much. You're welcome. I think you're amazing. Thank I you. love when you're shameless. Thank Even though so many amazing things. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Bye. How are you? Brianna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So lovely to meet you. You produced this movie. I did. So how did you get involved in the first place? And what drew it to you? Absolutely. So I work with Fangoria and Cinestate, which is the production company company and studio that brought Satanic Panic to life. So I work with them full time and I produce all of the movies uh, that we make. Um, yeah, so, so Satanic Panic uh, came to us because Dallas uh, pursued the script uh, that Grady wrote and we knew Adam Goldworm. And the minute uh, Dallas sent it to me, I just remember it being such a page turner. It was so fun. Uh, and I was so excited about the the fact that this was a story about Satan and four female leads, which, you know, it's, it's awesome. It's um, great. So, so I was excited about this one from the jump. It's just a really, really fun movie, while at the same time being super heartfelt um, and about this female friendship developing. So, yeah. I mean, the cast is amazing. Yeah, the female, female everything, female director. 
director, right? For, yes. We had uh, so female producer, female director, female first AD, uh, four female leads, and then of course you know tons of female crew, female costume designer. But uh, I remember early on in prep, we took a picture as we were location scouting, and it was just a table full of women, and I was like, hell yeah! <laughs> so it was really, it was really exciting and a really special part of bringing this project to life. That's amazing. Have you always loved horror movies? Because obviously your work with Fangoria has that always been like a passion of yours. You know, I, I don't know I'm obsessed. But. On, honestly, yeah. I'm becoming more and more obsessed by the day. But when I started uh, with Cinestate, it was right before we acquired Fangoria. Fangoria. Uh -huh. So that wasn't part of the deal, if yeah. you will. And Fangoria just became a part of my life uh, because we acquired it, you know, after the fact. And, you know, I, I just, like I said, I, I fall more and more in love with it every day. Yeah. But honestly, making films like Satanic Panic is part of my education. Oh, so yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting deeper and deeper into the community the more films that I make uh, but I, I didn't start here which is kind of cool yeah, you know it's really cool though yeah. when you discover something you love yeah it's right too it's like they did they already did one they already another they did like a horror pop-up bar and Fangoria was one of the yep. sponsors yep. I'm going to it again in September I was yep. there in July <laughs> it's great you, gotta, you, you know you gotta, you gotta get it in and it's Glendale and I live in Glendale yeah, so it's very yeah. easy <laughs> But I'm so excited about this film. Um, I love Ruby. I love Arden, and it seems I love how Arden described it. She was so sweet describing it. She's like, just in the sub, some suburban ladies that just need a virgin. Some, yeah. yeah, I just like look. I'm trying to have a great home, yeah. have some great curb appeal, and also okay. sacrifice a virgin and take over the world. You know, it's just one virgin. I don't think that's greedy. Yeah. it's not overkill. It's <laughs> just just the one. And did you did you talk to Haley? Oh God, yeah, I love her. She's Haley so cool. Haley is incredible. Um, honestly, she was a she was with like she was a discovery yeah, you yeah, know she has a bit, yeah, um, so. and we you know you you always look for a bit of a name when you're making a movie that's just part of the business and I remember seeing Haley's tape and just knowing like holy holy sh like that's that's Sam that's the lead of this movie and being so excited about making that decision to cast an unknown and you know whatever Haley's amazing and I don't think we can afford her anymore after this I movie know, like she's so sure. good you know <laughs> so it's her and Ruby had matching outfits and we just Decided they're an RV group from the nineties. They're, they're amazing. They're, they're, the they're and, <laughs> and and their their friendship in the movie is like the emotional thrust of the movie. And to actually see that happen in real life, they love each other I so know, much. Like I get I get like, chills. Like, it makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah, they're very very cute. But color coordinated yeah. and they just I mean, like vibed off each other. Yes. It was. I mean, I can't wait to see that in the film. Yeah, yeah. which is always a good sign. Yeah, yeah. They don't have awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. So nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> this is Brianna. Nice to meet you. Um, and I remember you were talking about Jason Bloom's uh, Halloween party. About did you pick out a costume ever? I'm just curious. <laughs> did I ever pick? Yes, because you had a little. I costume. did have a, co I, but I ended up not being able to go. So, um, so I'm gonna save it for next year. That's smart. I got a costume. <laughs> really. <laughs> I am so glad that you're here supporting this movie because you are one of my favorite actresses. I think you're amazing and Chelsea's amazing. We are just talking to her and I am so excited to see it. it looks like you, have you seen it yet or is this? I haven't seen the film. I read the script early on and I thought it was fantastic and I, I have very, Chelsea's going to just fly off the planet in terms of her talent. She's a really amazing young woman and I think she's good. This is just her beginnings really. So I love being able to be here and support her. Purple hair and all. I know, yes, I love it. Yes. Like outfit. Really? And it was funny because she said, uh, well, she's wearing a Wednesday Adam dress and it has bats. She said the movie's batshit crazy. I'm like, it goes along with the theme. It's perfect. Um, it's so funny too because last time I saw you too, you were we were talking about Lee who you've worked with many times, uh, Lee Wano. Yeah, Linnell. Yeah. Linnell. Yeah. Um, and I think he has a new movie coming out, right? Is he, he's what? He has a new movie coming out. He's I think. doing The Invisible Man that they're shooting in Australia. I, I, I don't know if they're done or not. I just actually um, got a note from his wife. I guess they're getting ready to celebrate their 10th anniversary. So oh, Congratulations. Yeah, so he's also, I've been very fortunate to be surrounded with really um, amazing, amazing people and really kind, smart, funny, supportive geniuses. I mean, I think Lee is a genius. I yeah. I've interviewed him before and he's just... And he's one of the funniest human beings you'll ever meet, so... You have to interview him now. <laughs> yes, please. I'd love to. I'd love to. I, you know, that's all I'm getting is, like, such positive, positivity. Like, everybody around here, like, oh my gosh, look at that right there. Like, all the women, everyone, like, you could see the, the support 
and it's real support. You know what I mean? This is why this is why I want to see the film because I could tell already like radiating from them like the talent. They're all their talent. So yeah, and everybody loves Chelsea. She's really she's a really wonderful I'm so person. Excited. Yeah, I was excited to see her career because she has such a good vibe. I'm like, oh, I love, I love her. I met her two minutes. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> What do you have that you can you tell us anything you're working on right now? Or you um, I'm just starting work on the new Penny Dreadful for Showtime. Oh my God. A, a fantastic character. Oh my God. I'm so excited to. Uh, Grudge is coming out in uh, January 6, I believe. Um, I'm actually going to be at Horror Hound. I haven't. I don't do very many yeah. conventions, but they're honoring me with a lifetime achievement award. Oh my God. Although I'm not dead yet. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, like, just, <laughs> I'm still cooking, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> We're proof yet. It ain't over. Yeah. <laughs> She's still going. Okay. I'm getting started. So, but the, uh, it's a lovely honor. So I'm going to. I'm going to do that. And um, there's a there's a lot of stuff circulating. So, but I'm really excited about Grudge also, and I'm really excited about Penny Dreadful. I I'm really oh about my God! I'm you're gonna you you have no idea what you're in for. It's oh, some yeah, of the it's some of the best. John Logan, who created the series, is unreal. So get ready. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for. I always love talking to you. I think you're amazing, and it's always a pleasure. I always talk to you. I remember you always have amazing like turquoise. You have good rings always. Last time you had a jewelry. <laughs> Your outfit. Very nice. So lovely to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Great meeting you. You just did something. I'm sorry, I don't know. At um, you did a. You were just at like a Figoria festival or something. I saw. Pe no. Oh, maybe it's just at a premiere at like arena or something. I saw. There's been a lot of stuff happening, but um, I actually just did a staged reading of a wonderful play called The Bench, which is about the homeless in Los Angeles and or homeless in every city really, um, which I hadn't been on stage for a long time. And even though it was a staged reading, it was. A very exciting piece, and I don't know that I think they're trying to find a place for it in streaming, you know, in, in one of the streaming channels. So it, it might show up. So keep your eyes open. I am going to keep my eyes open. Thank you. Because it is an amazing. Oh, thank you. Hi. Yes, the red pops. Oh yeah. Oh, I love this though. Like this. Yes. Oh yeah. The asymmetrical look. Beautiful. Very good. Primary good colors. Choice. Thank you guys. So can you can you tell us a little bit about your role? Yeah, so um, I play a babysitter who starts off as very sweet and helpful to Sam, and then I get crazy. I don't want to give too much away, but it gets, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Any babysitting paths you could pull from? Any or crazy babysitters you've had yourself? <laughs> I actually did have a few crazy babysitters when I was growing up, but um, I remember I tried babysitting my friend's goldfish one time. Um, it passed away. It lived a good life. You know, sure. yeah. <laughs> so other than that, yeah, nobody really hired me to babysit anything else, let alone their children. So, oh, yeah. so tested on animals first, didn't work. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, or right. I think I actually started on a plant and I just happened to kill a cactus on accident. Oh no, so. I've killed kind of like bamboos, like you can't kill, I've killed them. Yeah. Like I don't I don't even know how. It's hard. So. It's, it's not possible. It's hard. Yeah. It's not yeah. person here. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah you love Come on, guys. you do love trees. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get with the program. No, I'm how, is, how is working with Chelsea in the cast? Isn't there a oh, she's amazing. She's literally an idol, a legend, and I love that she's a female director and I love her background in horror and comedy and how passionate she is about it and it makes you even more passionate. So so she's just a legend. Yeah, I'm just really loving your guys' energy and the chemistry is just like radiating off all you guys. I'm like, man, this is this is some girl power here. This is some I, love. I love it, and I'm right? like, we need some more of this. Yes, yes. I'm just I feeling agree. the love, you know? I agree. I Female that. empowerment is what it's all about. Yes. I love these days. I love it. Well, we're so excited to see it. Thank you so much for coming. And congratulations. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Okay. okay. I love the wings. Yeah, the red wings. Saying the red is like a red liner. Yeah. Popping off right. the carpet, yes. everything. Thank you Popping guys. Out. Thank you. Okay. So we just wanted to get one quick question out. Um, so I have a four-year-old. And I know some four-year-olds that watch horror movies, but do you she think? She should not see this. No. Four-year-old. No. I mean, no. I mean, you should show it to him. I'm like, no. No. 
I don't no. have kids. So don't listen to me. She doesn't have kids. She doesn't have a child. She doesn't have a child. We have 10-year-olds, and we will never allow. Child services. Look at how much she's enjoying this question. Never listen to me. No. Do you want your four-year-old? Do you want to ever have your bed back to yourself again? <laughs> do you like it's having your bed to yourself? So don't listen to me. I don't. I don't. She pulls an organ yeah. out. Okay, okay. She she was like, you know what, maybe I'm like, I know one child that likes horror movies and I don't want my child around that disturbed. child. So, so right. I just wanted to make sure, you know. Yep, that's your answer. <laughs> We're so excited to see if you. Like We're so excited to, to see yourself. It. Don't show your four year old. True. True. I'll be like, I'm gonna show you this movie if you keep messing around. Yeah, yeah, no, you can threaten. Really. There you go, right? Okay, we found a great it's not <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay. Thank you so maybe much. Come out with like an animated scene. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's something appropriate. Hey, this is Jennifer Ortega and Brianna. And we hope you enjoy these videos. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe below, or Brianna will come after you. With witches. She wears roller skates, she's fast.